So, despite our best efforts, Penny's teething stage was a bit of a nightmare. Because of her, I walked around for years with scarred slippers, and she was also kind enough to gift us a complete set of custom-made furniture. It was not a great time for us, or for her. Teething can be really painful, and we didn't do enough to set Penny up for success. Zero Two is now in the throes of teething, but for the sake of my sanity and my marriage, I've been a lot better at managing it. It starts with plenty of exercise. Even when the weather is crazy, I have Penny run zero ragged. Now, Zero isn't always as eager as Penny to run wild, but in this case, I appreciate that Penny doesn't give him a choice in the matter. Participation is not optional when Miss Mayhem comes to town. Back at home, Kongs, ropes, and antlers help give Zero productive outlets for chewing. But a couple stubborn baby teeth remained, so I came up with a creative solution about how to knock them loose. It's a toy that sends even Penny chomping at the bit. The old hyper pet toy seemed like just the thing to help Zero dislodge that pesky tooth. He wasn't quite sure what to make of the toy at first, but Penny was happy to demonstrate for him. From there, it was a simple matter of waiting for the tooth to knock itself out. I let Zero play with the toy until I saw the telltale signs of blood. Then, all it took was a simple, painless extraction. And voila, all Zero's puppy teeth are out. As an added bonus, the whole ordeal left Zero so tired that he kept falling asleep while sitting up. I'm glad to report both my furniture and my marriage are intact. And as a just reward, Zero gets to enjoy them both.